Brought to you by Miniature Market. Go buy some stuff. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Disney Villainous in about three minutes. It has no solo mode. It's a game for two to six players, playing time is medium, and it's a pretty simple game. In a magical world of make-believe and registered trademarks, you are one of Disney's villains trying to complete their evil schemes. Will you be the Witch Maleficent, the other witch Ursula, the insidious Jafar, the greedy Prince John, the temperamental Queen of Hearts, or that hook guy with the unhealthy obsession with children? Each villain has their own unique objectives that they have to complete in order to win the game. And the winner is the villain who manages to do that first. Action selection. Each turn you will pick a location and activate it. Asymmetry. Each villain has a unique board, cards and objectives. Card management. You must manage your cards well in order to win. Player turn. Grab one of the villains to play and check their objective. I'd also recommend grabbing their villain guide and having a quick read. Each villain has a board with its own locations on it and you have two decks of cards. Your own power cards which are used to win the game and a fate deck which your opponents use to slow you down. You also have your special villain marker. Draw four cards and get ready to play. The game revolves around these eight actions, so let's take a look at them. First move your villain to a different location than where you started your turn. You can then take all four actions printed on that location in any order, unless a fake card is blocking the top row. The gain power action grants you power tokens equal to the number shown in the action slot. Power is used to play your power cards. The player card action lets you play power cards, paying the cost shown in the top left of the card. Ally and item cards are placed below in any location on your board. Effect cards are one-off actions you play and resolve, and condition cards can be played outside your turn if the condition on the card is met. The fate action lets you draw two cards from an opponent's fate deck. Choose one to play and place it on the top row anywhere on their player board. Fate cards include heroes, items, and one-off effects. The move a hero action lets you move a hero card one space on your board. And the move an item or ally card does the same for those cards. If a hero and ally share a space, you may use a vanquish action to remove the hero if your ally's strength, shown in the bottom left of the card, is higher than the hero's. The last action is to discard cards. And this allows you to go through your deck faster if you're looking for particular cards. And the last thing you do on your turn is to draw back to four cards. Play until someone meets their victory condition. Why would you like this game? First thing I should tell you is I have absolutely no interest in Disney and their movies. And while playing this, people had to tell me about some of the characters. And honestly, that didn't impact the game for me at all. Because the most surprising thing about this Disney-focused game is that it has genuinely good gameplay. The fact that each character plays differently and has its own unique strengths and weaknesses, while all feeling equally capable of winning is excellent design. Achieving this while keeping the complexity down is impressive. So while this might look like one for the Disney fans, beneath that veneer is a very solid game with some good interaction suitable for just about any audience. And the villain tokens are just wonderfully chunky and fun to play with. The best thing about this game is the villain guides. Teaching asymmetric games is normally a pain and this one thing makes it so much easier. However, the game is a race to the finish and knowing all the character strengths and weaknesses is a big part of knowing who is closest to finishing that race. And this can also lead to king making behavior, where the fake cards get piled on the leader and the second place person sneaks the win. There are also Marvel and Star Wars versions of this game. And for a co-op game about classic characters, try Horrified. Disney Villainous. I'm still waiting on the Curtis LeMay expansion. A reminder that 3 Minute Board Games does not do paid content. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.